Experts are now starting to sound the alarms about Donald Trump's plans to invoke the insurrection act. Should he retake the white house in 2024? Now, this is not some far off thought that Donald Trump just randomly suggested one time and then let it die. Invoking the insurrection act is in fact something that Donald Trump has openly spoken about so that he can allegedly crack down on those crime dens as he called them, which of course are liberal controlled cities. Earlier this year in a speech in Iowa, Donald Trump said, quote, the next time I'm not waiting. One of the things I did was let them run it and we're going to show how bad a job they do. Well, we did that. We don't have to wait any longer. So he's not talking about invoking the insurrection act to go and just shut down, you know, protests or riots or even to crack down on crime. He literally in that sentence, in that, in that statement, I just read to you was talking about invoking the insurrection act to just take over liberal cities because they're so filled with crime. Like we were letting them run it and crime got bad. So let's just send in the military to go ahead and do that. And the reason, as I said, legal experts and, you know, just human beings are, are terrified about this is because invoking the insurrection act would essentially have no guardrails whatsoever. It's not reviewable by the courts. It does not take approval from Congress and Congress cannot put an end to it. The only check that presidents in the past have had on whether or not they want to invoke the insurrection act is the threat of reelection and how that would play out for them. Well, a term limited Donald Trump serving his second term in office wouldn't worry about that. So there's, there's no safety rails here. If Donald Trump gets back into the white house and says, I want to invoke the insurrection act, he can do it. And not a person in this country can stop him from doing that. Like I want that to sink in folks. Okay. Again, not hyperbole. We're not overstating the problem. He has openly spoken about wanting to do that. He said, we're not going to wait. And there's nothing we could do to stop him if he wants to do that. I don't know if you needed another reason to make sure that Donald Trump never gets back into the white house or not, but now you have it. This is a very serious issue. And again, it has nothing to do with crime in blue cities and blue states. If this was actually about crime, Donald Trump would also be saying, and you know what? We're going to send the military down to Jacksonville. We're going to send them to Miami. We're going to send them to all these red states down here in the American South where the crime rate is actually worse than it is in blue states. I don't know if you've spent a lot of time, by the way, looking up crime statistics state by state. Yeah. Red states specifically down here in the American South are far worse than what's happening in blue states. In fact, the most crime ridden cities here in the United States happen to be in red states. It's not Chicago. It's not New York city. It's not LA or San Francisco. It's down here where I live in the South Republican controlled for decades. And those are the places with the most serious crime rates here in the United States. So this is what Trump wants to do. There's no safety net. We cannot stop it. And if he invokes the insurrection act, he does have the unilateral authority to send the military tanks, planes, whatever he wants into American cities and effectively take over. And that is something that he has made it clear he's considering doing if he wins the election next year. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the fair and balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like comment and share, but again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen. Oh, not be so grumpy.